Hello! In this video, I'm going to introduce you to something called Bootstrap. If you haven't heard before, Bootstrap is one of the most popular projects ever for developers. And what it is, is just a CSS file and JavaScript file. Hmm. But why would that be one of the most popular projects? Well, one thing you might have noticed is that writing CSS from scratch is a bit of a pain. Wouldn't it be nice if you can use something that has already been created by somebody so that not every single developer has to keep reinventing the wheel and keep writing everything from scratch. And that is the idea behind Bootstrap. Bootstrap was created to solve this problem so that we can create websites really, really fast by using somebody else's CSS and building on top of it. There's also another project called Foundation that does the same thing and they have their own styles. But again, Bootstrap is the more popular of the two, so we'll focus on that. If we click on Get Started here, it'll have a quick setup instruction. And in the next video, we'll actually build something with Bootstrap. But I wanted to show you, if you go down to Components, what the big cell of Bootstrap is. And that is, it has all of these things pre-built for you. So if I wanted to, let's say, have a navigation bar. Well, that's already built for me with drop downs and links. And all I have to do is copy and paste this code. And you'll see over here that they already have classes attached to them. And these classes will be associated with the CSS file that I will download for Bootstrap. So anytime I use something like navbar, it will use the default Bootstrap styles. And there's many things that you can do as you can see, all I need to do is copy and paste this code and I have myself a card. You can imagine how fast making websites is with this. Now, the one thing I do want to point out is you might be asking, why do I need to also download JavaScript? We haven't really learned that topic yet in this course. And there are some things in Bootstrap, such as drop down menus. You can see how they're adding behavior, some actions to our website. If I go to, let's say, modals, for example, and I click on launch demo modal, well, this uses JavaScript because there's some action within our website. We won't worry too much about that. And that's something we'll get into when we get to the JavaScript section. But you can see here that with Bootstrap, by just downloading a CSS file and a JavaScript file, we have all these tools at our disposal. Now, you might be asking yourself one other thing, and that is, well, if everybody uses these, won't we all have the same looking websites? And no, the beauty of Bootstrap is that these are just building blocks. You have all these classes that you can use, but then you can add your own custom CSS styles on top of these to make it different. So if I go to buns, for example, well, by using these classes, I have all these beautiful buttons. But if I wanted to change the behavior of button primary, which is this one, I could create my own CSS file and just put it right after the bootstrap file and change the primary color to, let's say, orange. And just to show you, if you go to the Expo tab here, bootstrap actually has a whole bunch of websites that are have been built with bootstrap. And you can see that they all look very, very different. So in the next video, we're going to build ourselves a bootstrap website. I'll see you in that one. Bye bye.